All right, so welcome back. Let's uh, quickly finish up the remaining two questions. So um, for this question, uh, it's simple. We also just need to think a bit for this one. So what we've been given is cost inverse of that. The first question, which is A, they're asking us to say, um, they're asking us to say we have um, sign, we have sign of cost inverse. So we have sign of cost inverse of X over five. We say, they're saying we prove that this is equal to 25 minus X squared, everything over five. So this one is simple. So this one is simple. How do you solve such a question? It's, also, it's simple. The first thing that you need to do here is to let what is in the brackets there to any parameter, to any variable. So we can say, let phi be equal to cos inverse of what? X over five. So if this is what we have, if we take this cos inverse back to this other side, to the, to the left side, we're going to have cos, cos phi being equal to what? X over five. So if this is what you have, using Sokatoa, so Sokatoa, so using Sokatoa, uh, when you're dealing with cos, we know that cos uh, theta, in this case, I'm going to say cos phi, is just given by uh, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So meaning if we have um, these um, values, this side, x over five, we know that x is the adjacent and five is the hypotenuse. So we draw the triangle there. So if this is our phi there, if this is our phi, um, our adjacent to this phi is simply just x, and then our hypotenuse to phi is simply just what? Phi. So to find this other side, we use the Pythagoras theorem, which states that um, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the adjacent squared uh, plus um, plus the, the adjacent squared plus the opposite squared. So if you check, we're trying to find the opposite. So to make the opposite uh, the subject, we're going to have the hypotenuse squared minus the adjacent squared. And then from there, we can now say uh, we square root both sides so that we have the opposite being equal to the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the adjacent squared. So we can put in the figures. So the opposite will therefore be equal to what? Uh, the square root of, so what is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is five here. So the hypotenuse is five. So we say five squared minus the adjacent is what? Is X, so we put X squared there. Meaning the opposite will therefore be equal to the square root of what? The hypotenuse there, which is 25, I mean, five squared gives us what? 25, then the X remains X squared. So this side will therefore be equal to 25 minus X squared. So this is our side. So now what is um, the next step to do? So the next step will be for us to find um, sign of uh, this same angle. So this same angle, remember we said this angle here is equal to what? Phi. So sine of phi, which is the same phi here, I used theta instead of phi, let me write it properly. So this same angle that we have here, which is phi, and let us find sine phi. So sine phi will therefore be equal to what? The opposite. So sine from Sokatoa. So we can say, we can see that sine phi is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, over the hypotenuse. So the opposite over the hypotenuse. So what is the opposite to this um, uh, phi? So the opposite is simply just this, um, this side, which is the square root of what? 25 minus x squared. And then the hypotenuse is simply just five. So we can write our five there. And this is the proof. You can write hence, Proved. 
So this is how you prove. Do we have any questions? Okay, so we do the next one. So the next one is um, tan, tan sine inverse of x over two. So we do the same. They are saying this should be equal to x over the root of four minus x squared. So let's say our phi is equal to sine inverse of x over two, meaning sine phi becomes what? x over two. Then from Sokatoa, From Sokato, we can we can see that sine sine phi is equal to what the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we take the numerator as the opposite and the denominator as the hypotenuse. So if you draw the right angle triangle there, if you take this as your phi, the the opposite is going to be x, and then the hypotenuse is going to be two. So meaning this other part using the Pythagoras theorem. We know to say finding the adjacent to the angle using Pythagoras, we know to say um, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the adjacent squared plus the opposite squared. So to find the adjacent, we say the adjacent squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared minus the opposite squared. And then the adjacent then becomes the root of um, if you square root both sides to get rid of this uh, two, uh, the adjacent becomes the root of uh, the hypotenuse squared minus the opposite squared. So if you take this, um, if you check the hypotenuse of this uh, triangle is two, the, the opposite is what is X. So we can write them there. So we say the adjacent is equal to the square root of two squared minus, um, two squared minus the opposite, which is x squared. So the adjacent will therefore be equal to the square root of four minus x squared. So we put the square root of four minus x squared there. So now we find tan, um, we find tan of phi. So remember phi, we said phi is sine inverse of that. So meaning our phi there is the same as that. So what we do is tan, to find tan phi. So tan phi will therefore be equal to what? Um, from Sokatoa, tan theta is given, uh, tan phi is given by the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite in this case is what? Is x. So the opposite is x and then over the adjacent is uh, four. So the adjacent is four minus um, the root of four minus x squared. So this is exactly what you're supposed to do. Okay, so this was a simple question. I believe there are no questions here. Let's move on to the next question, unless otherwise. 